All right, welcome to another beautiful night here at Glen Wild. I'm out here on the 18th hole. Uh, this is a view from the green, on the green side bunker, all the way down the fairway with the lake. Sunset and beautiful mountains in the background. Hopefully you're enjoying that. What I'm gonna do is demonstrate a few different shots for you. So I'm gonna go one right here in the rough, a couple right here in the bunker. <clears throat> then we're gonna do a couple short right here just in front like a little chip shot and then we're going to go back a little bit further and hit a pitch and what i'm going to do is demonstrate on all of these what i call a chop and stop technique so i'm about 20 yards from the pin or where the hole location would be right here in the front <clears throat> i've got my lob wedge i'm going to pick the club up high swing down and stop pick it up high swing down and stop so it's not really complete chop like I'll show you there in the rough but it is going to be up high to down low and stop so let me show you what the pitch shot looks like and up high down low that's some nice check on it the greens are rolling about 13 right now here at Glenwell up and down so it has a nice flight to it I'm not doing a big huge follow through so that's on a pitch. So now I'm going to do a little chip shot. So on the chip, same kind of thing. Back, this one on the chip, I'm going to keep my wrists a little stiffer. Back, and again, an abbreviated follow through. So it's kind of back, stop. So it's not a big follow through. That's the point of this instruction. Kind of back, stop. So <clears throat> long length good momentum, impact with the ground and the ball, boom, and then just let it end right there. You don't need to have a big follow through. So I'll show you the same thing in the bunker where you can impart a little bit more backspin. So in a situation like this, I've got my shot here to the front hole location, and then I've got water uh, across the green. So I'm gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> Aim a little bit left, pick the club up with my wrist, hit down, and basically just come to a stop right in the sand right there so as it comes out it has a nice little check to it I'll show you that again pick the club up kind of hit down and stop pick it up hit down and stop it has a nice little check and a bite to it so right here in the thick rough for our last one it's really really juicy right here been getting a lot of rain this summer drop it woo i hope i never have that lie <clears throat> so from right here pick it up chop and stop i've just got to get it over the apron onto the green and it'll roll down to the hole so i may open the face just a little play the ball a little bit further back in my stance pick it up chop and stop so it's kind of a myth that you need to have like this big long follow through, especially out of bunkers. Um, as long as you've got that momentum coming in from a good height, the key here is having a long enough backswing that you won't decelerate, right? So if you go big and high, think of a free fall. Like if I took my son to the park, pulled him back on the swing, let him go from a high height, he's gonna free fall for a distance and then swing through the bottom. That's what you want to think here. Raise your arms up higher than normal and then kind of free fall to a stop, right? So the ground and the ball is what's actually going to stop the momentum of the club. You're not really trying to stop it yourself. That collision, free fall, stop, that's what stops it. So hopefully this tip will help you next time you're in one of these short game situations.